times when I come back. Ben. Rachel, thanks. Breaking this morning on Capitol Hill, President Trump using a rare prime time address to make a public appeal for his border wall. The president declaring that we are in a crisis at the southern border, even urging Americans to call on Congress to approve money for that wall. This barrier is absolutely critical to border security. It's also what our professionals at the border want and need. This is just common sense. Down of the president's address, and then Mark, we know right after that address, the Democrats responded. Certainly, in a rare setting last night. This is the yeah. first time we yeah. saw President Donald Trump since taking office in that setting in the Oval Office, speaking to the American people. The speech was not too long, just under 10 minutes. And later today, when things develop and materialize, when everyone goes back to work, we'll certainly see how much of an impact that speech had on both the American people and the leaders of our country. My fellow Americans. President Trump using his first prime time Oval Office speech to take his argument for the border wall directly to the American people. This is a humanitarian crisis, a crisis of the heart and a crisis of the soul. The government shutdown now stretching into day 19 as the president and Democrats remain locked in a standoff over money for the wall. The president blaming Democrats and highlighting Americans killed by those in the country illegally. How much more American blood must we shed before Congress does its job? Democrats immediately following with their own argument. This president just used the backdrop of the Oval Office to manufacture a crisis, stoke fear. In a rebuttal, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and top Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer throwing the shutdown blame back on the president. He promised to keep government shut down for months or years, no matter whom it hurts. That's just plain wrong. The president has invited congressional leaders back to the White House today to take another stab at reaching a deal. And Senator from North Carolina, Tom Tellis, releasing this statement here just after that speech, reading in part, President Trump has made clear that he will not sign a funding bill that contains inadequate border security funding. He's called on both parties to work together in good faith, and that's what I'm committed to doing. So clearly, President Trump does have some support from his party leaders. And Ben and Rachel, it was interesting last night I watched this. It was it's certainly a different setup, seeing Trump in a very mm -hmm. controlled environment, reading from a prompter. And then the mm -hmm. Democrats, the very same thing. Yeah. This is a very heated debate. There's a lot of emotions here. Your thoughts on that? Um, honestly, if I'm being completely honest, watching both and watching social media reaction, I'm not sure anybody was too impressed with either speech. Not, not by the a, Democrats or the Republicans. There weren't a, hu a, a ton of huge surprises. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was very scripted. Yeah, very, very scripted. No question setting. about it. So yeah, much so we'll, different. We'll see how things go later today when everyone wakes up and the reaction on social media will certainly follow up. Expectations you. were that he might call for national emergency. He yep. didn't. He didn't uh, call for a yeah, concrete wall. Yeah. It's now a steel barrier fence. So there are a few.